So the first thing you need to do is to head on to download the app. So I'm going to be using Play Store. And on Play Store, I just click on the search icon and search for Alipay. So it is, this is the first one on the top. I already have it on my phone, that's why it's prompting me to open. But since you don't have it, it's going to um, prompt you to install it. So just click on the install and it will install. So let me just click on the open. Okay, so I already have an account today, that's why it's reflecting my picture here. But for the sake of you who doesn't have an account, all you need to do is to click on the sign up at this down part below, click on it, and it will redirect you to impute your mobile number. So if you take note, you will notice that the area code number is not in Nigeria because Nigeria is supposed to be a plus two three four. So here is a Chinese code number. You just need to click on this code number to to change it to Nigeria. So here you see many options. Just scroll down to whatever country you are. So I'm in Nigeria. I'm just going to choose Nigeria. So here I'm just going to impute the phone number that I want to use in registering this account. So please take note that any information you want to use for registering uh, on this Alipay account should make sure it's a correct information. Don't use, don't just pick up any random information like your phone number, your name, and just put there. No, just make sure any information you are using are, are the same information that you use in processing some of your documents because we are going to be verifying this account as well. So let's go ahead and impute. The mobile number also make sure not to include the first zero on your phone number so you click on sign up this is the terms and condition just take time to read it properly and click on the agree button So when you click on here, it's going to say enter code. So it's going to send a code to your phone to your message. So let me go get the code and input. So I'll go ahead on to my messages. My SMS messages. Okay. So here, so you just enter the code. I don't know what's wrong with the network. Okay, I'm just going to log you in. So as you can see, we have our account set up already, and uh, this is the interface. This is how it's going to look like. There are many things to explore here, but I just want this video to be as short as possible. So, we are going to go straight into the next uh, step by verifying our account. So, how do you verify your account? To verify account, you need to click on this icon hit down below. This me icon here. You click on it. And when you click on it, it's going to redirect you to an interface like this. So as you can see, there are a lot of options here to explore, but I'm not going to go into that. So 
I'm just going to be focusing on how to verify um, the account using an international passport. So that's going to be the next thing. Guys, if you have actually followed this video up to this extent and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please do it to hit on that subscription button. Hit on the notification bell to always get notified when we upload new content like this because we always upload good and amazing content in this um, channel. So without wasting of time, let's head on to verifying the account with uh, a pa an international passport. So what you need to do now is to click on this username on set here, as you can see. You click on it. And when you click on it, it's going to bring you to this interface. So as you can see here, <clears throat> there are lots of options to explore here, but we are not really going to go into that. Maybe in my other videos, I'll be uploading a video on how to set up these other settings. But let us head on to verify the account so that the account will be ready for use. So as you can see, rename verification here. You see, it's showing unverified. So what you need to do is to click on it. So when you click on it, it's going to bring out this interface where it's saying identify verification. As you can read, if you can, if you read through, you see before using this service, you first need to fill in your name, ID number, and other information to complete identity verification. So you just click on verify now. So when you click on verify now, it's going to bring you to this interface. Yeah, it's showing you different options. There are two options here that you can explore to verify your international passport. So in this video, I'm not going to be using my international passport because I already have an account with them and you can only use one international passport for uh, an account. You don't use an international passport for two accounts. It might result into some problems. So I'm just going to be explaining it to you and just follow the step and you, it will you'll be successful at doing it. So what you need to do is to, there are two options to explore here. So first of all, let's try to explore the first option, which says scan, scan to fill in automatically. So to use this option, you click on it. And when you click on it, there are still two options also to explore. So one, you can either decide to scan the passport. So if you want to scan the passport, just click on scan. So when you scan the passport, it's going to show you something like this. Means you your passport. So I'm just going to there's no light here. I'm just going to use something, but not it. you just need to you open the uh, the international passport and scan it. When it's scanned, it's just going to click automatically that it has scanned already. And with that, it's going to prompt you to fill in your name, the name on your passport, and other necessary information. It's very easy. So let's go through the other option. So the next step is to verify. Uh, to access the service, please select one of the following methods to complete selective verification. So I'm just going to use the second option. So yeah, you click on it. When you click on it, you can either take a photo of the of the passport or you upload it from album, just like as we've done uh, the previous time. So I don't want this video to get so long. I'm just going to use the second option. You can use anyone which is okay with you. So I'm going to use this upload from album. So I'll click on it. So you just need to click on the, uh, the passport on your passport.
so you just click on your passport and click on the confirm icon at the top So I'm covering this aspect for security purposes. You know, I don't want YouTube to to bring that this video and also for my own security. I don't expose everything. Okay, so this is it. You click on confirm and submit. So you click on it. Okay, so to continue, just use this service to verify your face. You click on to verify your face identity. All you need to do is to click on verify now. And uh, so uh, I don't, I currently don't have like in where I am now. So as you can see, you can see um, a little picture of my face on the screen. So you just need to. So let me just go out and get lights. Let's do this. So as you can see now, after the outside of the interface, I'm like this. Prompting you to link. Link. So let's be done. Okay, so after. After you've done the facial verification, you just come back to your dashboard again and let me show you, let's see if it has been verified or not. Let's check to see if it has been verified. In some cases, it does take um, a little amount of time for it to be verified. Mine took some time, like a few hours before it got verified. So I will click on this uh, me icon again. Click on the username as well. So as you can see now, it's verified. So you see, it's verified already. So now this account is ready for use. You can use it to transfer your yuan to your supplier and you can also use it to receive payment from your exchanger so i'll be creating another video on how to explore and set um set up other profile on this um alipay account so thank you very much for your time hope to see you next time